Namaste, everybody. The sun is shining, the birds are singing, and we're all about to embark on another wonderful class. It's so fun to learn. And today, little Sahasara is going to teach us all about chakras. Hi, everybody. I'm Little Crown. My Sanskrit name is Sahasrara. I like to keep connected with divine bliss. My name is Lil Third Eye. My Sanskrit name is Anya, and I'm super intuitive and have a big imagination. Some of my friends call me the Guru Chakra. I'm Lil Throat. My Sanskrit name is Vishuddha. I love to talk with people and be true to myself, just the way I am. Ah, I'm Lil Heart, and I love to love. My Sanskrit name is Anahata, and I love that too. <laughs> oh, from the heart, everybody. I'm Will Soa Plexus, but you can call me by my Sanskrit name, Manipura. I'm centered in the tummy, and I'm strong and confident. Hi, I'm Lil Sacra. My Sanskrit name is Swadhisthana. I love to make new friends and learn new things every day. And I'm Lil Root. Don't be afraid of anything when you're with me. I'm strong and courageous and I got you. Namaste, Lil Yogis. It's so awesome to see you all today. How's everybody this morning? We're great, Lil Crown. Ready to start another day of enlightened learning? What is this class gonna be about? Well, let's not wait anymore, you guys. Let's get the class started and find out what today's topic is. What do you say? Yay! Let's do it! What are we waiting for? Namaste and hello, everyone. Meow. Meow. Moo. Moo. In today's class, we're going to learn about cat and cow poses. Yay! Before that, let's do some warming up. Take a sit like this with your knees on the floor and you can choose if you like to tuck or untuck your feet. Put your hands on your knees. Breathe in. Lift your chest and move your head up. Look up and open your chest. That's good, everyone. Keep on breathing here for one, two, three, four, and five. Breathe out. Put your head down to your chest and round or curve your upper body like this. Keep on breathing and stay here for one, two, three, four, and five. Let's continue. Breathe in. Lift your chest and move your head up. Look up and open your chest. And this time, keep your hands up into the sky. Keep on breathing here for one, two, three, four, and five. Breathe out, put your head down to your chest and round or curve your upper body like this. Bring your arms around like this. Keep on breathing and stay here for one, two, three, four, and five. Let's get into our tabletop position, everyone. Do you still remember this pose here? Yes, just like the table, only better. <laughs> Let's refresh our memory. Ensure that your wrist is underneath your shoulder and your knee under your hip. Yes, that's right. And keeping your back straight, just like the table. We're keeping our knees and palms facing down strong like the table okay so from here we're gonna breathe in and lift your right arm out and stretch it all the way up into the sky and look up 
Breathe out, slowly bring it underneath like this and let your shoulder rest on the floor. Breathe in, come back up and breathe out. That's a good one, everyone. Let's try and switch side. Breathe in, lift your left arm out and stretch it all the way up into the sky and look up. Breathe out, slowly bring it underneath like this and let your shoulder rest on the floor. Breathe in, come back up and breathe out. This time, bend your right elbow like this and put your hands onto your back of your head. Breathe in, lift your right elbow up and breathe out, bring the elbow in like this. Yes, that is correct. Breathe in, bring the right elbow back up and breathe out, release. Let's do a couple more rounds here. Bend your right elbow like this and put your hands onto the back of your head. Breathe in, lift the right elbow up and breathe out, bring the elbow in like this. Breathe in, bring the right elbow back up and breathe out, release. One more time. Bend your right elbow and put your hands onto the back of your head. Breathe in, lift the right elbow up and breathe out, bring the elbow in like this. Yes, that is correct. Breathe in, bring the right elbow back up and breathe out, release. All right, everyone. Let's wiggle our arms and fingers and move our shoulders a little like this. Ready to do on the other side? Yes, let's go. Bend your left elbow like this and put your hands onto the back of your head. Breathe in. Lift the left elbow up and breathe out. Bring the elbow in like this. Yes, you got it. Breathe in. Bring the left elbow back up and breathe out, release. Let's do a couple more rounds here. Bend your left elbow like this and put your hands onto the back of your head. Breathe in, lift the left elbow up and breathe out, bring the elbow in. Breathe in, bring the left elbow back up and breathe out, release. One more time. Bend your left elbow and put your hands onto the back of your head. Breathe in. Lift your left elbow up and breathe out. Bring the elbow in. You're doing great. Breathe in. Bring the left elbow back up and breathe out. Release. Move back away from the pose and wiggle your arms and fingers, everyone. Bring your legs forward and wiggle your toes as well. Don't forget to roll your shoulders up and down and then shake it side to side. Yes, do you feel good? Alright, let's get back into our tabletop position. Ready for our cat and cow poses? Meow! Moo! Let's do this! Let's check again our position. Hands underneath the shoulders, check. That's good. Now. Knees underneath the hip. Check. That's cool. We're good to go. Breathe in. Look up and open your chest. Beautiful. This is your cow pose, everyone. Mm. Breathe out. Bring your head down. Chin to your chest and really curve your upper body. Yes, that's right. This is your cat pose. Meow. Breathe in. Look up. Breathe out. Chin down to your chest. Let's repeat everyone. 
slowly taking your time as you breathe in look up breathe out chin down to your chest breathe in look up breathe out chin down to your chest breathe in look up and push your palms down as you lift your chest up yes perfect and now breathe out slowly bring your head down and maybe look into your belly button and push your palms down as well curve your upper body like this yes that's how you see the cat stretches sometimes right meow breathe in look up push your palms down as you lift your chest up and then breathe out slowly bring your head down and maybe look into your belly button once more time push your palms down as well to really curve your upper body like this curve it up yes 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 up 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 there you go you got this beautiful practice everyone we're gonna do one more time let's do this breathe in look up push your palms down lift your chest up stay here and keep on breathing Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Perfect. And now we slowly bring our head down and maybe look into our belly button one more time. Push your palms down and try to curve your upper body like this. Just like the cat. Breathe in breathe out breathe in breathe out right, slowly come back and just wiggle your fingers and move and shake your body side to side feeling free just like the cat and the cow that was really awesome everyone hope to see you in the next class take care and namaste how inspirational that was! Your wisdom is first class, little crown! Your voice is so pretty and your knowledge is so inspiring! Aw, oh, little sacral, little heart! Thank you! You're so kind! Can't wait to hear more! Oh, let's keep going! Alright, let's do it! Strap on your seatbelts, little yogis! Away we go and some more facts and wisdom! Yeah! Namaste and hello everyone! Woof! Woof! Do you have a dog at home? We love dogs. They make great playful and loyal friends. In today's class, we're going to learn a pose called Downward Facing Dog. Let's get warm up, everyone. Stand up straight and tall. Breathe in. Leave your hands up like this. And spread your fingers wide. And breathe out. Bring the fingers closed like this and slowly bring it back down. Breathe in. Lift it up and open wide. Breathe out. Bring it close together and back down. Let's repeat a couple more times. Breathe in. Lift it up and open wide. Breathe out. Bring it close together and back down. Breathe in, lift it up and open wide. Breathe out, bring it close together and back down. Don't rush it. Do it slowly with control, okay? Breathe in, lift it up and open wide. Breathe out, bring it close together 
and back down. Okay, next up, let's breathe in and bring your palms up like this. Yes, that's right. Almost like giving a stop sign. Breathe out, bend the palms down. And breathe in, lift it back up. Breathe out, bend the palms down. And breathe in, lift it back up. Yes, follow that pace a couple of times. Breathe out, down. Breathe in, lift up. Yes, and this time push your hands forward as if you're pushing a brick of wall. That's right. Bring your hands close to your chest and then bring it forward as if you're pushing something away. One more time, bring your hands close to your chest and then bring it forward as if you're pushing something really, really heavy. Yes, you're doing great. All right, this time, let's try and walk our palms down on the floor. First, let's start standing up straight and tall. Breathe in, reach your arms up high in the sky. Breathe out, slowly bend your knees and put your hands down on the floor. Yes, that's it. And now we'll walk our palms or fingers away from our feet, maybe about five to six steps away. Look, we look like the alphabet V upside down. Ta-da! This is your downward facing dog. Let's try and pedal our heels up and down like this. Imagine you're a dog walking on the street happily. Yes, continue pedaling your heels up and down, up and down. You can also bend your knees and move your head gently side to side. Looking left and right, left and right. You're doing so good. Slowly bend your knees like this and move your hip to your heels. Let's stretch our arms wide like this. Take a deep breath in and breathe out. Breathe in and breathe out. If you need to take a break from your downward facing dog, you can always go into this position, okay? Don't forget to give yourself a break whenever you feel like having one. All right, let's come back standing straight and tall. Breathe in. Reach your arms up high in the sky. Breathe out, slowly bend your knees and put your hands down on the floor. And now, we'll walk our palms or fingers away from our feet. Maybe about five to six steps away. Are you ready? Here we go. Let's get back into the upside down V shape downward facing dog. That's fantastic. From here, let's try and move our hip side to side. Yes, slowly move it side to side. So imagine yourself like a dog wiggling its tail playfully. That's it. How cute is that imitating the dog? Woof, woof. Keep on moving your hip side to side. Let's take a break, everyone. Remember what we should do when we want to take a break. Bend your knees. Bring your hip to your heels. Let's stretch our arms wide like this. Take a deep breath in. And breathe out. Breathe in. And breathe out. Bring yourself up in a comfortable sitting position. Slowly take your hands close to you and wiggle your fingers like this. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle it away. Okay, 
Let's try and get back to our downward facing dog. Come back standing straight and tall. Breathe in. Reach your arms up high in the sky. Breathe out. Slowly bend your knees and put your hands down on the floor. Let's walk our palms or fingers away from our feet. Maybe five to six steps away. That looks good. Now spread your fingers wide and push it into the ground. Take one deep breath in here and breathe out. Find your balance and let's try and lift our right leg up. Yes, that's it. Now slowly bring your right leg down. Bravo everyone! Are you all set for the left side? Yes? That's awesome! Okay, here we go. Breathe in. Lift our left leg up like this. And then breathe out. Put back your left leg down. Great effort everyone! Take a break one more time here. Bend your knees. Bring your hip down to your heels. Stretch your arms wide. Maybe this time, put your forehead on the floor. Take a deep breath in and breathe out. Breathe in and breathe out. Let's try a different style in our downward facing dog. Let's come back standing straight and tall. Breathe in, reach your arms up high in the sky. Breathe out, slowly bend your knees and put your hands down on the floor. And now, we walk our palms or fingers away from our feet. Maybe about five to six steps away. Yes, you did it correctly. Once we're in our downward facing dog, let's try and lift our right leg and bend your right knee and look towards our right side. Yes, woof woof on the right side. Slowly put back your right leg down and then lift your left leg this time. Bend your left knee and look towards your left side. Yes! Woof woof! On the left side. Gently put your left leg down. That's fun! Let's repeat everyone. Everyone ready? Lift your right leg and bend your right knee and look towards your right side. Yes, woof woof, on the right side. Slowly put back your right leg down and then lift your left leg this time. Bend your left knee and look towards your left side. Yes, woof woof, on the left side. Gently put your left leg down. That was super everyone. Slowly bend your knees, put your hip to your heels. Let's stretch our arms wide in front. Take a deep breath in and breathe out. Breathe in and breathe out. Now move your arms towards the right side and stretch towards the right. Take a deep breath in and breathe out. Breathe in and breathe out. Switch and move your arms to the left side and stretch towards the left side. Take a deep breath in and breathe out. Breathe in and breathe out. Bring yourself up in a comfortable sitting position. Slowly take your hands close to you and wiggle your fingers like this. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle it away. Thank you everyone for joining the class today. Woof, woof. See you in the next class. Take care and namaste. Slippery sun salutations. These facts are blowing my third eye wide open, little crown. My knowledge is growing and my mind is getting stronger. I'll be super little Sora soon. Let's keep going then. What do you say, little yogis? Yeah! More amazing facts coming right up. Namaste and hello everyone. 
In today's class, we're going to learn a little bit about backbending. Ooh, it sounds difficult. Let's take small baby steps and work our way to it, okay? You can do it. We'll start by standing straight and tall. Breathe in. Lift your hands up. Look up. And breathe out. Hands to the sides. Breathe in. This time we'll put our hands onto our lower back like this. And breathe out. Gently push our hip forwards like this. Yes, that's great. And continue. Breathe in. Keeping your back tall. Hands to our lower back. And breathe out. Push your hips forward. Breathe in. Straighten your body. Breathe out. Push forward. Breathe in. Keep your body tall. And breathe out. Push your hip out. That is great, everyone. And every time you do a backbending, we need to do a contra pose or something opposite, like hugging the knee, for example. So here we go. Lift your right knee up and hug it close to your body. Find your balance. Put your right knee down and now we switch side. Lift the left knee up and hug it close to your body. Find your balance. Put your left knee down. One more time. Lift your right knee up and hug it close to your body. And maybe move your hips side to side as well. Control your balance. Put your right knee down. And now we switch side. Lift the left knee up and hug it close to your body and try and move your hip side to side. Find your balance. Put your left knee down. We're gonna come down onto the floor and stretch your body like this. If you remember Cobra Pose, we can do a couple as well. Put your palms down close to your chest or shoulder. Breathe in. Lift your chest up and look forward. Or look all the way up into the sky. Breathe out. Come back down. Breathe in. Push your palms down and lift your chest up. Look up all the way and breathe out, come back down. Let's repeat. Breathe in, push your palms down and lift your chest up, look up all the way and breathe out, come back down. Let's get into our low lunge position, everyone. Yes. Just like this, right knee forward. Make sure your knee is above your ankle and your back knee is below your hip. Yes, that looks great. Breathe in, lift your hands up and as you breathe out, hands to the sides like this. Finding your balance so you can adjust yourself. Breathe in. Lift your hands up and as you breathe out, try and push your hip forward and open your arms and chest up into the air. Yes, that's great. Breathe out, bring your arms down and fingers down to the floor. That was awesome, everyone. Breathe in. Lift your hands up again and as you breathe out, try and push your hip forward and open your arms and chest up into the air. 
Breathe out. Bring your arms down and fingers down to the floor. Breathe in. Lift your hands up, 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 and away. And as you breathe out, try and push your hip forward and open your arms and chest up into the air. Breathe out. Bring your arms down and fingers down to the floor. This time, we're going to do a little side stretch and back bending at the same time. Are you ready? Okay, breathe in. Leave your hands up. Put your right fingertips down to your right side, and lift your left hand up and reach up, 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 and away. Breathe out. And slowly side stretch to your right side, and push your hip forward. That's great. Side stretch and back bending. Breathe in. Lift your hands up. This time, put your left fingertips down to your left side, and lift your right hand up and reach up high. Breathe out. Slowly side stretch to your left side. And push your hip forward. Beautiful. Let's switch side. You can either jump and switch like this, or walk your feet to change position. And now your left knee is on the front, so make sure your knee is above your ankle and your back knee is below your hip. Yes. That looks good. Breathe in. Lift your hands up. And as you breathe out, hands to the sides like you're an aeroplane. Finding your balance so you can adjust yourself. Breathe in. Lift your hands up. And as you breathe out, try and push your hip forward. And open your arms and chest up into the air. Breathe out. Bring your arms down and fingers down to the floor. Good effort, everyone. Breathe in. Lift your hands up again. And as you breathe out, try and push your hip forward and open your arms. And chest up into the air. Breathe out. Bring your arms down and fingers down to the floor. Breathe in. Lift your hands up, 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 and away. And as you breathe out, try and push your hip forward and open your arms and chest up into the air. Breathe out. Bring your arms down and fingers down to the floor. This time, we're gonna go back to our little side stretch and back bending at the same time. Breathe in. Lift your hands up. Put your right fingertips down towards your right side, and lift your left hand up. And reach up, 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 and away. Breathe out, and slowly side stretch to your right side, and push your hip forward. That's great. Side stretch and back bending one more time. Breathe in. Lift your hands up. This time, put your left fingertips down to your left side. And lift your right hand up, and reach up high. Breathe out. Slowly side stretch to your left side, and push your hip forward. Amazing. Slowly come back to the floor, and bring your knees close to your chest like this. Yes, that's how you do it, everyone. Give your knee a big, 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 big hug. You can also grab your toy in between, like Teddy here. Now move your hip side to side. 
Move it side to side. One more time, move it side to side. And keeping your knee to your chest really tight. Breathe in. And breathe out. Breathe in. And breathe out. And keep on moving side to side. Moving side to side. One more time, moving side to side. All right, slowly release your knees and come back into a nice, comfortable sitting position. Thank you for joining the class today, everyone. You were amazing. Take care and see you again. Namaste. And that takes us to the end of today's yoga class. What did you think? Talk about a chakra to the system. <laughs> My third eye's really been open today. Mine too. This is the best yoga school ever. I wouldn't trade it for anything else in this world. Or any other world, right? Exactly. Our little crown is the best instructor a little yogi could possibly hope for. That's right. Let's hear three cheers for a little crown. Hip, hip. Hooray! Hip, hip. Hooray! Thank you, everybody. Teaching you was my pleasure. Until the next time, namaste. 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 <laughs>